Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here at the Hershey RV Show to do the world debut of the brand new Accolade. This is a 2023 Accolade XT on the Ford F550 chassis model 32U. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Accolade XT and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited guys, look behind me. This is the world debut of the all new Accolade XT. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Jen. Hey guys. How's it going today? It's going good. We're here early at the Hershey Show and um, I'm really excited to be here. Hershey's always like a very exciting event. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest RV show in the country. So we're getting to see a lot of inventory here that we don't always get to see. Yes, the Hershey Show actually starts tomorrow. It's Wednesday through Sunday. Yep. It's really exciting. And Jen, can you look up that way? What Guys. the heck happened to your eye? I sneezed really hard the other day and it popped a blood vessel in my eye. So. Man, that's a little extra. Yeah, perfect well, for Hershey to yes. meet everyone. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Jen, your eye's okay? Yes, it's well, okay. Well, we're super excited. Even more excited to look at this brand new unit. Jen, let's begin. Model is 32U Seneca XT. The actual tip to tip length is 32 feet 11 inches. This sits on the F550 4x4 chassis. It's the 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 turbo diesel engine with the block heater, 10 speed automatic transmission. Jen, from my understanding, this is on the 550. That's the only one. There is two bigger ones, a 33F and a 35L that will be on the F600 chassis, very similar to the Magnitude Omnis. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really nice. Jen, look at this blacked out package. It looks absolutely fantastic. Look at this. Very nice. Look at this. Yeah. You get into a fender bender in this, you need a new bumper. <laughs> right. This is amazing. Ford, super duty. It's awesome. Blacked out package. I absolutely love it. It's not technically the blacked out package, but it's all black and yeah. I love it. Right up front there is a seamless fiberglass front cap. A true seamless. Notice how there's no seams. I love those lights up there. You notice that? Oh, them? yeah. Because, again, this made for going off the grid mm -hmm. and, you know, you need to see your camper on all 360 yeah. degrees. Like if you're in, like, Africa at the safari or somewhere right. like that. And then right up there, you have the nice, awesome Integra windshield right there. And then look at these tires, Jen. They're the Firestones. I love those. 245-70R, 19.5. Look at the black rims. I like it. Looks that. absolutely fantastic. If you go underneath there, you can see the suspension. So the suspension is combined with the Easy Drive Premier, which is a computer balanced drive shaft system, front and rear heavy duty stabilizing bars, Hellwidge helper springs, and as you can see right there, the Coney shocks. Jen, this is going to be one of the best riding Super C's on the market today. It's just so nice. Right here, we do have mirrors on both sides. 6.7 liter pair stroke turbo diesel. This is America. <laughs> And then right in here, we do have these nice running boards to get in and out. And then look how comfy the seat is. Yeah, it looks nice. Super nice. You got cup holders here, power windows, and speaker right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power, ar power armless awning with wind sensor. If you see the LED lights, they're actually in the arms and it goes out like this. So if the wind blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. And then right here, we do have side cameras on the left side and right side. Also, oh. what the heck's up with these bugs? Right. Get them out. Every of here. year at Hershey. Yes. Coming on down the side, because this is an Integra, it does have the two years warranty, three year structural, which is very nice. And then here, Miss Jen, oh man, Ooh. look what they did on the inside. Nice. So Integra is notorious for carpet. And in here, Jen, it looks like they went with the black diamond plate on the inside. I like that. Which is really good. That's what you need for going. It fits the vibe too. Exactly. It's just mean and aggressive. Mm -hmm. If you please back on up. Oh, this way, this way. Look at that paint oh, wow. job. It's very much a SADA 5-like. You know what I'm saying? With the uh, distressed look. 
it looks really really good i i like it on this it almost looks like a mountain landscape from a distance actually on camera yes and then right here uh again there's just aggressive looking tires of course this has auto leveling and then here we do have tv on the outside insignia furion sound system and everything that you want there right over here is the propane then you have a propane quick connect and then jen can you please right here Bing. yes sure I'll show all the specs so everybody who's <laughs> watching on television oh yeah more storage nice. diamond plate heck yeah this is america <laughs> Right over here, a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap, 12,000 pound hitch. I'm not saying you could tow 12,000 pounds. You're good with seven, eight, nine, ten. Any more than that, you always need to weigh your motorhome. Always know before you tow. Um, that's what that's what we're telling you. Nice rear tail light design, backup camera there, and there is a ladder to get up on the roof, Jen. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Be careful. Look at these boats. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Wine guard digital antenna. And then right there, you can see that does have the solar panel on the roof. Here we go now. Be careful. We don't want to have to sue the Hershey show. Oh, <laughs> great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Water heater right here. Black water heater looks like a 10 gallon Dometic DSI water heater. And then coming on down, right here, we do have storage. And then over here, like this, dump station, uh, your water fixtures and everything, outdoor shower. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. Here's where your diesel fill is. Okay. And then here you can see your inverter. I like the black diamond plate. Yeah, I do too. Watch your step Easy there, to man. clean too. <clears throat> yeah, that's the whole thing. It's going to get wet. It's going to get moist. It's easy to clean. Batteries. And then, yep, batteries on a nice Morite slide out tray. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Well, Jen, the outside of the Accolade XT looks fantastic, but the inside looks equally as good. Let's go take a look. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. We have the nice cab up here. There's your bunk. Dining area, living area kitchen we got your bedroom back here and then that bathroom in the corner yes ma'am now before we begin jen we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor rv life guys tomorrow's the first day of the hershey show rv life's going to be there they're doing seminars every day if you plan on coming to the show make sure you stop by the rv life booth and go to the RV Life seminars so they can teach you everything about RV Life. And if you haven't already signed up, this is the week to do it because it's Hershey Show week. Use promo code Matt's RV Reviews. You get 25% off and a free seven day trial. And again, when you come to the seminar and you get to see all the great features that they have, it's you'll see that you'll see why it's the best app in the RV industry. Jen, you know what temperature it is? It's like 70 degrees, but the humidity, I'm yeah, dying. Yeah, I can see the sweat. Yes, oh good, the 4K is picking <laughs> yeah. it up great. All right, Jen, let's get started down here. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> We're in the Ford 550 Super Duty. Get on down here, Jen. Oh, Lord. Right here, we do have nice power windows, power locks right here, very nice steering wheel. Jen, we're driving, I don't even see the bunk over the cab. I know, it's nice. Right here we do have, uh, this is where your cameras are, your radio, zoned air conditioning, brake controller. How do you feel here, ma'am? Really comfortable. This is like driving in the truck. Yep. And then like Matt said, there's a lot of headspace you don't feel like in, in a normal C, like really closed in. Yes, very nice. You got your cup holder here, you can come on out. Oh, this uh, is the recommended way to get in. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, and then right there is where like you put your registration and everything. Very nice. And as Jen did mention, 
these F550s or F600s aren't the best of transitioning back into the motorhome. But we make do with what we can. Right over here, Jen, is the uh, bunk over the cab I with the this. safety netting. Do you know how much this holds? 750 pounds. You must edit every video or something. Yes, 750 pounds. I love it. I love the front windshield. You have your control button right here that makes it go up and down. That's so nice. Yes, you also have power on both sides, cup holders on both sides and everything. And what's great is when you do have an adult sized guest, I mean, this is big enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. And then over here is the dinette. Now, when you guys look at the floor plan, this is very much like the um, a Steam 27U floor plan, just at a bigger size. Solid surface countertops throughout, which Jen will touch on in a moment. But right here, we do have the Televator. Very nice, very big and spacious. You push the button. And then if we come over here. Ew, look at that bug. Look at Don't it. touch it or it'll fly. Don't. Don't. I'm not touching it. Right here is our slow rise privacy shades and our daytime shades. Nice. And if I could see the camera. Whoa, dang. <laughs> that thing jumped. Check out these valances. Approved. Bing. Oh, that's the um, Gen Valance seal yep. of approval. Yep. Very nice. This uh, it's a interesting looking table. Uh, how it's kind of like a wood grain look. You got cup holders here. It does drop down to make a bed. And then Jen, do you see what those two slits are? What is that for? Car seat. Oh, tether. car seat. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Now, Jen. Here's the test. Twenty twenty threes. I know they did it on the emblem. Come on. But this is a new product. Come on, Integra. Yes. yes. Burr, 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 burr. Finally. Yes, Jen, they added, look at this. Piano well, one, that's a mess. Yeah. But piano hinges, I absolutely love that. This is such a big deal because again, this wood is crap, right? Yeah. It falls into place. It doesn't get out of place. Mm -hmm. You can now use it for storage. It's easy to access and easy to get to. I freaking love that. Shout out Integra for kicking butt at that. Over here, here's where our auto leveling is. Um, inverter and everything. Right up here, we got great storage. Very nice. And then here, Jen, how do you like this cabinetry? It's different. Yeah, I kind of like it actually. You know, it's kind of like, again, the, the whole RV industry, it's kind of like now they're now going back to the Browns, but yeah. again, they did it in a different way. Well, and like the furniture is light, the walls are light, so it's still not super dark. Right. Right over here, we do have electric theater seats, cup holders here, and your remote holder would go right in there. Now, I'm not going to lie, this seat's kind of a little ridiculous, but at least this seat would have a good TV viewing Right. Angle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jen, show us this kitchen. Oh, well, wait. Jen, before that, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And Jen, do you think we have the MSRP? No. I don't think we have it either. We might not even have it. No, we won't have it. So unfortunately, guys, we don't have the MSRP for you. Um, but here's what I do know. If you guys are interested, go to matsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure that we have the MSRP by the time this video is out live. But Jen needs to edit this like an hour from now. So we actually won't have the MSRP. But Jen, that's going to be priced very, very similar to the Magnitude Omnis. Mm -hmm. So around that price range. And Jen, doesn't matter what the price is or the MSRP is, we're always going to make sure we get you guys a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Yep. Jen, Joseph's Kitchen. All right, guys. So as Matt touched on, it's nice, solid surface, kind of marble looking countertops. They give you a little extension here. Here we go. And then we have a nice single bowl sink. Very nice. With nice solid surface inserts. And actually, you know what, Jen? Join us on Club Art Deco. That's our Facebook group. When we have the price, we will post the price yeah. on our Facebook group. Sounds good. And then I can't get it out, but oh, here we go. A nice pull down faucet. I'm not messing with that again. Jen, Jen, it's just like this. Ow! Dang it! <laughs> it's just like this. <laughs> just like that. There you Dude, go. It's kind of weird. Very right. nice. We got storage up here. We got a nice little... Hey! So you know what this is? That's a Tower of Power! It is, but I think it has wireless charging on that. Oh! Not only that, it has the lightning bolt charger as well. Right. 
I think that's what that symbol means. So you could just set your phone in there. Very nice. So innovative. Oh, no, I just wanna, is it plugged in? I mean, the batteries are on. Maybe not. Maybe not, guys. Oh. Don't hold me. For wow. <laughs> you know what? We were about to buy this motorhome. Now it doesn't have that. that. Yep. So we got a nice Furion convection microwave. Nice balances, and I love this <clears> big window here. Yes. Less than a lot of natural light. We have a two burner Furion induction cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And then down here, we have a lot of storage underneath the sink. Okay. More storage here. All oh. right. Look what they got going on yeah. there. I like that. Very nice. Not, oh, gosh. Oh, man. Up. You are breaking what did I stuff. Do? I didn't even pull it out with it. There we go. Very nice. And then you have, let me just show this. You got a bigger, deeper drawer at the bottom. Yes. So, like pots and pans. And then a little spice rack area there it looks like and then over here we have a nice huge huge residential fridge yes ma'am look at how big that is i know and then we got a nice pull out freezer here what i love about this jen is in the 27u well one i don't even think you get a fridge this big but you, you can get like a 12 cubic foot, foot fridge but then you lose the pantry oh and see, this one go. look at that now we got this nice i love this pull out pantry you already got the little cubbies for you. Would you look at that? And then another one down here. Oh yeah. Very nice. It's not a huge pantry, but at least you still get it with the big fridge. Yes, ma'am. And then right here is your firefly system. This controls all your tanks and everything. Thermostat, two AC units, of course, 50 amp. <clears throat> and then over here in the bedroom, here's gonna be your wardrobe space. Here is the pocket door, which goes like this. Very nice where you can close it off into the bedroom, which is very, very nice. The doorway is really big too. Yes, which is important because, you know, as big as this motorhome is, it's still it's still relatively small. Yeah. Um, right over here, we do have some more storage. Yeah. All so, your manuals. Yeah, no MSRP though. I mean, this unit is new, new, new. And then over here, Jen, is the king size bed, which is very nice. Which, speaking of beds, as thanks to everybody who's watching Mattress RV Reviews Europe Edition. Uh, if you guys need a new mattress, rvmattress.com backslash Matt, just saying. <laughs> just um, saying. Like, well, wasn't that a great trip, Jen? That was a great trip. And it was all possible because of rvmattress.com. <laughs> yes. Uh, three windows in the rear, which is very nice. Nice storage up here. Very nice. Yeah, we can't wait to see um, once you took over the GoPro to show bath. We can't wait to see that footage. <laughs> so. Yeah, Kati and I did a good job. We were the only ones that went to see the bath. Well, the museum was expensive. It was. There was like a bath and bath. It was like 22 something. pounds a person. Right. Uh, king size bed. Unfortunately, RVmattress.com will not work for this because the bed does mm. fold in half, mm. which is unfortunate. Over here. We do have sliding door in the rear. Nice yes. hang up wardrobe closet there. Storage right there. And storage right here. Nice. Very nice. And then this door opens up as well. TV right here. Okay. Oh, that's the light switch. There's somebody outside there. Oh, I was hoping it was an Integra person. To maybe tell us the MSRP, but I don't think it is. Um, you know, all these factory reps, they all look the same. They really do. <laughs> and then over here, okay, wow. Look at this. Very nice big shower. Yeah. It's a 30 by 36. Jen, where's Will? I know. He's out being lazy in the car <laughs> over there. Will, uh, Jen, we don't even need Will right here. This is huge. This is nice. This passes the, the Will shower test Bing! right there. <laughs> Uh, show that thing. So we have nice big mirrors here. Yes. And cabinet. And then nice sleek modern faucet. Art Deco. Art Deco. No. And then you got a backsplash. And I like how much countertop space. Right. Too. It's really nice. Lots of storage underneath here. Looks like a water filter. Okay. Very okay. nice. And then a little bit more storage over there. Yes, ma'am. And then here we do have a nice. Tecma toilet, electric toilet, <clears throat> porcelain. <sighs> it's Integra, Jen, mm -hmm. so I feel biased. 
I don't like how I'm elevated. I don't like how I'm tight. Mm -hmm. Like, it's passing, but I'm not going to pass it. I feel like I'm trying to let it slide in because it's Integra. Jen, I'm not going to do it. I'm just too close. I'm too claustrophobic. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. I should have made this counter just a little less. Long. Right, but uh, I'm not saying it's failing either. It's yeah. just not super, super duper ideal. But Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the world debut. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do dislikes. And on a positive note, yeah. Jen, I actually have two dislikes and they're both outside. Jen, dislike number one. I love this motorhome. I'm loving the vibes. I'm not loving this water heater. Motorhome like this, I want a nice instant hot tankless water heater. That's just me. That's big dislike for me. The good thing is on this unit or any unit, you can always add the Furion instant yeah. hot tankless water heater. That's a nice plug there. But for me on a higher end unit, I don't want a water heater. I want it to be instant tankless hot. Yep. That is dislike number one. Jen, dislike number two, kind of talking about dislike number one, no 50 amp power cord reel. There's plenty of space in here. The price point of this is expensive. It's a higher end unit. I, and it's a heavy cord. I don't want to have to just reel it in. I want to push a button yeah. and have it automatically reel in. That is dislike number two. Jen, what's dislike number three? All right, my number three dislike is this fold up bed because it means that you can't use the bed when you're going down the road. Mm. So that's a big dislike for me. Not the end of the world, but yeah, it kind of sucks. Right, it's kind of like a pro and a con because like at least it's a king size bed, right. which you don't normally get in a class C. But again, it folds up and uh, you can't use that. it down the road and you can't get a Brooklyn bedding. Right. RV, RVmatch.com. <laughs> um, yes, Jen, that... I agree with you, and that's three things we dislike about it, Jen. Now, it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you mind if I go first? Sure. I love this huge refrigerator. Yeah. Absolutely massive. Big fridge freezer, Samsung residential style. And again, the fact that you're still getting your wardrobe right here. Yep. Top of the line, fantastic. I love that. Jen, that's like number one. What's like number two? I think like number two for me is all of the windows in here. There's a lot of natural light. They give you this big window at the kitchen and then that window at the front. Yes. That lets in so much natural light. So even though the cabinets are a little bit darker, it still feels really light and bright in here. To combo that with the bunk over the cab that holds 750 pounds. I absolutely love that. Jen, number three is gonna be outside, but we do gotta give honorable mention to the piano hinges yes. on the dinette. That makes a huge deal. Jen, like number three is gonna be outside. Okay. Like number three, Jen, I love everything about the exterior. Literally, I love the body paint. I love the slam latch doors. I love what they're doing in here with the black diamond plate yeah. rock guard. Looks fantastic. The Firestone tires, the aggressive rims. I love this. I love the chassis. I love the metal bumper. Seamless fiberglass front cap with the lights. Jen, this is a, an adventure bound person machine. It's four by four. It is awesome. And I freaking love this motorhome. And I know it's going to sell extremely well, just like every Integra is going to sell extremely well this week at the Hershey RV show. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, the Hershey RV show starts tomorrow. It's Wednesday through Sunday at Hershey, Pennsylvania. And if you don't know what the Hershey RV show is, Google it. It's the, it's the largest RV show in North America. And we hope to see everybody. We are going to be at the Matt's RV Reviews display um, in area 580. 8 and 589 I think section 586 and 87 I think. 586 587 something like that it's the same exact spot we were at last year guys it's the bright orange tent you can't miss it we hope to see you guys there and if you're see if you're trying to buy an Integra come and find us we're going to hook you up with our partner here at RV1 we're going to make sure you guys get a great price great service and the best RV buying experience in the industry Jen what do you want to say Thank you guys so much for watching. It was exciting to see this new Integra. It's really beautiful. Um, like Matt said, make sure to come by the tent and say hi to us, all four of us, and Kati. Uh, Will's sister is going to be there. So make sure you come by. You can sign up for our newsletter and get stickers, and we'll be here during the whole show. So we can't wait to, wait to meet you guys. Yes, and make sure you guys sign up for the newsletter now. Jen's been doing a great job with the <laughs> blog post and more stuff to come, <laughs> coming very, very soon. And if you guys sign up for the newsletter, 
All you gotta do is tell us that you already signed up for the newsletter and you guys get free stickers. Yep. Jen, we were selling those stickers for 20 bucks a pop last year. Well, they're free. Well, well, well like we were selling like a six, yeah, like yeah. a variety pack. So now they're free. Yeah. And what's better than we free? Just simply ask. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, not ask. You gotta show us that yeah, you signed yeah. up for the newsletter. You gotta tell us, hey, what was the last newsletter that Jen sent us? If you know that answer, then you know how to get the free stickers. <laughs> Probably a month ago. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jen, we'll see you next time.